So this is a journal entry problem for the purchase of inventory on both cash and account. So on January 13th, we purchased 1,000 baking mats at $4 each and 200 mini ovens at $80 each. All right, you, uh, from your vendor, you paid $10,000 in cash and the remaining on account. All right, so what are we doing? We're increasing some of our assets with inventory. We're decreasing some of our assets with cash. And then we also have things on account, which is a liability, meaning we're gonna have to pay it in the future, which means we're gonna have a credit associated with some liability account. So let's start with the things we can touch because it always makes it easier to know what's happening. So what's happening to inventory? Well, we are getting inventory, so it's gonna be a debit. So we're gonna have a debit here, and we're gonna debit inventory. All right, so we debit our inventory, but what amount do we use? Well, you could have two entries for the ba inventory baking mats for what this is total. It's $4 each times 1,000 is 4,000. So you could have inventory ba baking, match at four, baking mat mats at 4,000. Or you could have 200 mini ovens at $80 each also uh, as its own entry. And that, if you do 200 times 80, it gets to 16,000. So you could have an entry for just one for the baking mats and then another one for the mini oven separately. Or you could be really savvy and say, you know what, we call all this stuff inventory. We're just gonna call it inventory 20,000. Either way of doing this would be totally fine if you did, did them separately or if you did it all together uh, in writing your journal entry. The second journal entry is gonna be a credit, all right? So the credit that you're gonna have is gonna be in two parts, all right? So we have our $20,000 of inventory that we received. And then we have two different things that are happening. We have cash. We have cash that's gonna get paid. So cash is an asset. We can touch it and it's leaving. Our cash is going down, all right? So we're gonna have a credit of cash, right? So cash, uh, we're going to move it over just a little bit so it looks more like a credit. Credit means to the right a little bit more. So cash, cash, my S is a little silly there, cash of 10000 right? And something's wrong. We're, you know, debits don't equal credits. And the reason why is because that's not all we did. We had the remaining on account. So we're going to have an account payable. And that is a liability. So we're gonna increase our liabilities here by having a credit of account payable. All right, a credit account payable of 10,000. All right, and where that shows up here is we're gonna have inventory increasing our assets. Inventory increases by 20, 20,000, 20 K. And then cash is gonna go out. Cash is getting credited, just like right up here, of 10K. All right, and then our liabilities, what's happening with our liabilities? Our liabilities are increasing, right? So we have account payable. It's frequently written as AP at 10K right here, and that's going up. And so each one of these journal entries maps onto this, uh, this balance sheet, this T account balance sheet right here, that's an arrow if you can't tell. Uh, and then this last inventory right here goes boom. And you'll notice everything's in balance on each side of the equation. Our assets increased by 20K, they went down by 10,000, 10, and then our liabilities went up 10,000. And so uh, net net, our assets went up 10,000 10, and our liabilities went up 10,000, therefore our equal there everything is equal and they only went up 10,000 because it's 20,000 net or 10,000 of cash that's there all right so that is the purchase of inventory on cash and accounts payable